Welcome to the Rainbow Parrot Art YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create these totally amazing rainbow parrots. Are you ready? I'm ready. I'm so ready. I can't wait. Before we get started, I want to give a special shout out to Nicole Mayuki from the Let's Make Art YouTube channel who inspired this project. I've got all the materials we're using today listed in the description below. I'm going to start by drawing a diagonal cross across my paper using light pencil marks. Now I'm going to pencil in a rounded half oval shape where I want the head to be. I'm going to use that cross as a guide to draw my wings on either side of the head. Now I'm going to jump in here and show you two different styles in which you can design your parrot head. The one on the left is much more realistic, while the one on the right is easier but a little more cartoonish. I'm going to be jumping back and forth between these two designs, so feel free to pause it here if you want to copy one of them. There you can see I'm drawing the head of the more realistic parrot. I like to make a white circle inside the pupil and then color in the pupil with a black sharpie. And by the way, this type of parrot is called a scarlet macaw. Take a moment to look at the interesting coloring on the beak, how it's dark on the bottom and light on the top. Also notice that light patch around the eye. Okay, now I'm gonna switch real quick to the more cartoony head, which I think is pretty self-explanatory. You can kind of look at it and just copy it if that's the one you choose to do. Here's a sample of the two outlines side by side, so you can choose which one you like best. The bodies of both birds are the same. It's just meant to be a simple outline to guide your watercolor painting. Using light pencil marks, I'm going to draw some dashes to guide where I want the wings to be in my painting. Now I'm going to add some more light pencil mark dashes to guide where I want the paint for the tail to be. Don't outline the body of your bird in Sharpie. You actually want to make sure your pencil marks are super light before you start painting. You can go ahead and erase that diagonal cross that you drew to. That was just to guide your picture. Before you start painting, I recommend adding some crayons to your drawing. It will look super cool when you paint over it with the watercolor. I'm doing little half circles, kind of like capital U shapes, and I'm drawing a bunch of them, uh, different colors all over the body of my bird. Try adding some white crayon marks in there too. It will look super cool when you paint over it. Now I'm throwing in a little green and yellow crayon. Check out this amazing aerial view. You might want to consider this image while you're adding your colors. Okay, now you're going to want to make sure that you have a straw handy. If you do not have a straw, you can actually make one by rolling up a piece of paper. You want to roll the piece of paper really tightly and then fix it in place with a piece of tape or a rubber band. Okay, we're going to paint now, so make sure you have some paper towels handy. I recommend activating your watercolors by adding a drop of water to each color you will be using. I'm going to start by painting the head a solid red color. I'm also gonna add that red paint to the upper edge of the wings. Okay, here's where you wanna stop and make sure that your red paint is really wet. So add some extra water to your red paint and pick it up in your brush and then add it to your paper in a big, thick puddle. You really want it on there thick. Now real quick, before that paint has a chance to soak into the paper, take your straw and point it at the paint and blow. It really helps if you hold that straw at a sharp angle and hold it opposite in the direction that you want the paint to move. Now I'm gonna repeat these steps on the other wing. I'm gonna puddle that paint up real thick and then before the paint has a chance to soak into the paper, I'm once again gonna blow on it with the straw. Now I'm gonna add the yellow paint and repeat these same steps. So once again, I'm going to add a few drops of water to my yellow paint to make sure my yellow is really, really wet. And then I'm going to paint some on my bird. After I finish painting on a normal layer of yellow, I'm going to start uh, adding my paint really, really thick on the edges. So scooping it up and adding it real thick. Then real quick, before that paint has a chance to absorb into the paper, I'm going to blow it with a straw. I'm doing this at a very low angle and I'm making sure to point my straw in the direction that I want the paint to move. I'm going to repeat these steps now as I add some red paint to the tail. Notice how I'm puddling that paint on super thick. 
you literally need to have a puddle of paint on your paper in order for this to work. This is optional, but I found it really helpful to use a hair dryer to dry my paint between layers. I suggest testing out your colors on a separate piece of paper before you add them to your painting. That way you can make sure that you like them. Check out these beautiful colors. I'm gonna add some light blue to the center and middle of my bird and repeat the same steps. I'm gonna be adding some darker blue to outline the bottom edges of the wings and the outline of the body and the tail. Notice how the body still looks a little too thin, so I'm gonna go back and add some more blue paint around the body. So there's my first painting. It was super fun. Okay, here's where I repeat basically the exact same steps with the slightly more realistic parrot. So you've already seen all of this. So I'm just gonna kind of zoom through it really fast. And now it's finished, yay! Here you can see my two finished parrots side by side. If you end up doing this project, be sure to let me know how it goes in the comments below. I'd love to hear about it. Oh, look at that face. I teach super fun live online art classes to kids as well as to adults. You can find out more information by visiting my website, rainbowparrotart.com. If you enjoyed watching today's video, be sure to check out my other videos. I have so many super fun projects on this station and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and hit that little bell icon so you'll get notifications when I put out new videos. All right, see you soon. You might enjoy watching one of these videos next. They're super fun.